Okay, my name is Peter Whitbread Abrutat and I work as senior scientist at the Eden Project. Well, my average day job is sitting behind a desk in front of a computer, but I do spend a lot of time, uh, in lots of lumps of time, uh, away doing projects, working with partners in different parts of the world. Um, for the past few years, I've been particularly working with mining and environmental issues and tropical forest regeneration projects in various places. The people that inspired me are uh, a couple of teachers in my life that have just pushed me a little bit and said these are, these are what you can, this is what you can achieve, that, that sort of thing. My mum and dad, particularly mum, uh, really helped a lot. But um, outside of that circle of school and parents, I reckon David Attenborough did a lot. I used to watch his programmes when I was a little kid in the 1970s, Life on Earth, uh, and that just it just connected with me completely and I thought, oh, that's very interesting. So that's what I sort of pursued, that sort of, you know, interest in, in the wild wilderness and the environment. Um, so I was thinking maybe if I do go to university, I'm going to uh, do something to do with ecology or environmental science. So I took A-levels that sort of went in that sort of direction, although I wasn't too definite about where I wanted to go. So they call them gap years now, but in 1986, there wasn't that many people doing that. And I went on a, a thing called Operation Rally, which um, took me to, for three months to the other side of the world in New Zealand, where I was just living outside under bushes with a bunch of other people from all over the world, uh, doing environmental conservation projects, track building in national parks and all this kind of stuff. So that was a, a quite a formative year, actually. Uh, and then I travelled around America for a few months, um, having worked on a summer camp and all that. So that, that was probably one of the most formative years in my entire life. And again, it's taken advantage of those opportunities that come along. I hadn't foreseen it, uh, but I ended up going to Cambridge University. Um, and I did uh, natural sciences for three years. And, you know, my dad's a self-employed builder. You know, in a, we come from a little house in Scarborough. You know, like, people like me don't go to Cambridge University. So it was quite interesting. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It was really, really hard work, though. <laughs> Loads of peer pressure. Uh, I got a little bit stressed a few times. Um, but, no, it's, it was good. I, by the end of three years, I'd sort of got a more defined picture of where I wanted to go. Um, particularly interested in forests, for some reason, and natural um, uh, vegetation stuff. And then climate change was... Ha somebody had invented climate change um, in the mid to late 80s and so I started looking at climate change PhD and I ended up coming down to Cornwall to do a PhD. I could have stayed in academia, um, we're sort of in 1999 now, I actually felt like I wanted to move on and just at that time in the local media there was a, a little ground swelling of a, a thing called the Eden Project by Tim Smith. To cut a long story short, I sent him my CV just on spec and you said come in for an interview and that's how the whole thing started. When I told people at my previous workplace that I was leaving and I was going to work at the Eden Project, this is over 10 years ago, literally all of them said well that's just going to be a complete waste of time and you're making a mistake and now I can turn around and say I told you so and it's quite a satisfying feeling. <laughs> well my dad's a self-employed builder and there's a whole story there about he was a a, a German war refugee fleeing the Red Army, okay, so he's come back from absolutely nothing and built his life up and all the rest of it. And when I was younger, he was always trying to say, oh, you can't make a career reading all day and that kind of thing. And now I think he's, he's, he's changed his tune completely now. I think he really appreciates what I do and how hard I've worked to get here, so it's about, you know, proving people wrong sometimes, even if it's your family. <laughs>